いらっしゃいませ。Welcome back. It's time for pork c h a s h u So we have a slab of pork belly right here. You can get this at some supermarkets. This one I got it from Costco. So we got our pork belly right here. It's nice and flat the way I like it. Now remember that、uh, it needs to fit your pan or pot that、uh, you'll be using. So cut it into a size that it will fit. For me, I could probably make two pork belly chashu with this. So I'm gonna cut this right in the middle right here. If I cut this right in the middle, I can roll it like this. And that's one chashu. The other one will be like this. So I'll get two chashu basically. And I'm gonna cut it right in the middle right here. And once I cut it, I'm gonna start rolling it with some string. Here we go. We'll do it one at a time. So I'm gonna roll this. So we need your string. First, make a shape. And then you usually put a line right here. And then start. I'll roll it a few times in the beginning, real close, about three, four times. And then I'll go across real quick. I will go across a little bit wider. Once I get here, I'm gonna start rolling it and getting it tight. You want it tight as possible because when you start boiling this thing, the fat's gonna start melting. So the chashi is gonna start shrinking. So you want the shrinks to be tight. Add it. I'm going to go back now. Putting the finishing touches here. And I'm gonna loop it a little bit right here. And I'm gonna put this in here. I'm going to hook it in underneath one of the strings. So once it boils, I'm just gonna pull this off. I know where the end is. I'm gonna pull this string out and then I'm gonna unwind it. So, so we just rolled up the、uh, cha shu. And now we're gonna boil it. So we're gonna boil about、uh, an hour and a half to two hours. Oftentimes, when I'm making chashu, I'm also making soup.、Uh, you could always boil it in hot water, but I personally like to boil it in my soup pot. So it brings out the flavor out of the chashu and it takes the, I think, the soup to the next level as well. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna throw this baby in here. Learn about making soup, you can always check out my other links on how to make ramen soup. So, once you throw it in there, I'm gonna wait about an hour and a half to two hours. The longer you put in there, it's gonna get softer. For me personally, I like soft chashu, so I'm gonna wait for two hours. All right, so we're waiting for the chashu to boil. We got some time, so we're gonna make the tare, the sauce for the chashu to marinate it. So, we need eight tablespoons of sugar, a cup of sake, a cup of soy sauce, three cups of water. 40 grams of ginger, four cloves of garlic, and two scallions. All right, so we got everything in. Let's just wait for it to boil. We got the cha shu. It's been in here for two hours. Now we're gonna put it in the sauce and let it simmer for one hour. So I've seen some、uh, places that would throw the cha shu in the sauce from the get go instead of boiling it. What that does is it dries up the cha shu. And makes it a little bit harder to chew on. So we'll boil it first for an hour and a half to two hours and then simmer it in the sauce. All right, it's been simmering for an hour now. We're gonna separate it from the tare and then we're gonna let it cool down. Once it cools down,、uh, we're able to wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator. At this stage, 
if you want to cut the chashu, it's going to fall apart. It's very difficult to cut chashu when it's soft. So we're going to put it in the fridge, cool it down for overnight, tighten it up, and we're able to cut it into pieces a little better. All right, the chashu is ready to be cut up. Left it overnight in the refrigerator. All right, we're going to unwrap this. Remember that hook that I made? I'm going to pull this string from here and just start unwrapping. Oh, so nice car. Looks good. It's looking good. Moto disco, moto disco. There you go. Looks good. You want to cut it when it's cold so the meat's intact and you have a nice looking chashu to put on a bowl of ramen. All right, look at that chashu. Looking good. So I was able to make about 12 slices with a little extra on the side, enough for six bowls. So before you serve it in a bowl of ramen, you want to warm it up since it's cold. Just gotta heat it up, it's already cooked. All right, that concludes our chashu episode. Thanks for watching. Arigatou gozaimashita!